Welcome to Thursday, October 19th, 2023. You are, uh, you're live. We're live. I'm alive, barely, for uh, Creative Unraveling with Leah and Jen. And today, let me bring, hold on, let me look down here and bring Leah into the studio. Like ah! literally into the studio. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is a late night uh, edition of Live and Unraveling, and um, I'm not going to lie, I may have had a, a tiny tantrum because I feel tired, and um, I don't know about you, but when I feel tired, I don't want to do a lot of things. Like I just wanted to go snuggle in, I kind of wanted to snuggle in bed all day today, like from the very beginning. Hmm. I think just all of the traveling and all of the, the changes and things just, and I noticed a lot of people felt that way today too, though. So maybe there's something in the air. I haven't checked out the planets and the stars yet. So maybe there's something going on there. If yeah. you, if you, if you're someone who studies that or knows about it, feel free to say, Hey, some planets in retrograde. And I don't keep up on all that, but I do find it fascinating. Uh, anyway, I, I just, I'm babbling because I I might be delaying this just a little bit. Just a little bit. Why, yeah. Jen? Why are you delaying? Because I feel tired. And you feel tired. And, and what can that do? And when I feel tired, they're like I feel a little whiny and cranky and like sometimes the voices roll around more in my head and I might louder. be Yeah, definitely louder. And um they're throwing a tantrum, which makes me want to throw a tantrum and uh, maybe be more judgmental of my work rather than just letting myself be loopy and go with the flow. So tonight, in, in really, uh, really, I'm here because one, Leah was going to do this anyway. And, and in the attitude of being consistent and showing up, even when we're tired, th there is a line, though. Sure. There is a line there of setting boundaries for yourself. And um, had I, had I been more tired, like I would have said, you're on your own. Um, so that's my, that's my un. what's the word I'm looking for? See, I can't even, I can't even think. Uh, un asked for um, Thursday thoughts is know where to set your boundaries for yourself that way and to follow it. And when it's okay to do things tired or a little bit tired and, and trust that good results are still going to happen because you're doing it. Why are you laughing at me? Because I think this is a great conversation for our creative unraveling tonight because yeah. of some conversations we've had in the past, some conversations that have come up tonight. So let's get started. Um, and then <laughs> now I'm curious of what conversations yeah, have come well, up. Well, just what you've talked about. We talked about that, but I want to get us started so we don't get all into conversation. So I'm not in a total tantrum <laughs> while we're <laughs> you're gonna already be in flow. So all you need for tonight and Jen, I'm excited because has... I'm trying new paper tonight. Me too. I have no idea how this is gonna work out. So this is super amazing. And um, I'm trying different paints. Yes. Well, they're really they're... I've been using your paints yeah. just in a different. Okay. We're yeah, good. it's the same thing. So we're going to be using the same mediums, slightly different brushes, but same water, same paper. Let's see how this goes. Definitely lots of difference in the experience level. Just saying. <laughs> I'm trying a new one tonight too. I haven't done it. So yeah. yeah. Okay, let's do it. So um, you just need some watercolor, some paint, some water, an open mind, and let's get go. <laughs> <laughs> Tired or not, mind open, heart open. Let's have some fun. Yes. Okay, so do you want to bring it on the yeah, screen? Yeah, let me just, I forgot that I still have to do that because it's a different camera and show on the screen. So all you're it's getting its own countdown. Yeah. Three, two, one, bye. So all you're going to, you're going to see my paper here. I forgot that this is slightly smaller. Okay, so we have. Can you see what you need to see? Yeah, I think so. Okay. It's slightly there. Okay, then you can see more of my paper. And we got a mouse. Ah! Get out of your mouth. Okay, so all we're gonna do, um, we're gonna start with your lightest color. So we want like glowy what? pumpkins. Yeah, say so what color, what are we're we gonna, doing and what colors do we need? We want like yellows, your lightest yellows. So that would be in here. Yeah, it's right here. Just, it's right here. That, 
I'm trying to get it in the camera. Oh, no, it's this way. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so I'm going to make a wash here. You can go into that. Can I touch that? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Slightly I'm, I'm in here. the wash. In the wash. I'm doing the wash. That's my brush, you see. <laughs> that doesn't happen very often. Okay, why do you call it a wash? Because I'm adding water to it. It's not just straight um, paint. So you're you're so I'm creating, diluting yes, the I'm diluting color, the, okay. the pigment. Okay. So you're just going to drop colors all over. Okay. You don't want to go super wet. Um, don't do the same yellow in in the same spots. Like you want to add texture and depth to your painting. So even I'm gonna even well, like this has such a different like. The way it soaks that water up. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Wait, what's slightly you green? Do? I'm just, I'm just adding kind of like an eeriness to. Eeriness. Um, eeriness. Yes. How do I know what you just touched? Um, I touched this coming. Eerie. Just drop why, it. Why? Why does the green make it eerie? Um, I don't know. It gives it like a brightness. Are we coloring a, the whole page? Like, yes, we're doing the whole page. Okay. And it's going to have different saturations of the yellow. We don't want to go too dark yet. We want to keep it nice and light. We're going to let this page dry. And then we can talk a little bit about boundaries and being tired and how that, how we know those lines for ourselves. Yeah, we were having a really good conversation tonight with, can I say with who? Yeah. With um, Cadence who happens to be Leah's oldest and uh, just, you know, just she's in that beautiful yet frustrating when you're in it kind of phase of like learning that kind of stuff for yourself. I remember those days, like sometimes as an adult, like I still have those days where I'm thinking about other people's feelings rather than recognizing what your actual needs are. Yeah. But, but you know, you, you know what they are. Yeah. But you don't dare. Why? Why is yours so much brighter than mine? Um, I went back into more pigments. How did, so oh if you gosh. want, you you went just for the, know, the, the wash. wash. So I, I go back in and then I want certain areas a little bit more pigmented. So I'll go back in with that color. Okay. And then it just adds more. Um, more Definitely pigment. added more brightness to it. Yeah. I'm going to let that dry. I like the brightness of that. That's a, an amazing yellow. Yeah. It makes me happy. Mm -hmm. I like, I've never said that yellow is my favorite color, but I've heard you say that. I know. Like that's just been a recent thing oh. that I've admitted that yellow is my favorite color. It's <laughs> like, I'm like, I love all the colors. I, there's not, I can't pick a color. But is that I, like when you ask me what my favorites are? Yeah, I really don't have favorites unless that. it's a French dip sandwich. Um, then I can absolutely, for one hundred percent, like honest truth, say that is a favorite. A, a onion dip sandwich? No French dip sandwich. French. French <laughs> no dip. onions, please, and thank you. Unless they're blended. Even though that's a whole another conversation for another okay. day. Okay, so we were talking tonight about boundaries, and um. We've just noticed in chatting with with my daughter, she's been like super bright and energized, and she's just she's she looks alive and she's having fun and and you, all the things. You all know when you see that in people, and when you feel it in yourself. Like, I did this one if you want. Yeah, I just was noticing that. I'm just gonna put this in front of the heater because it's right. <laughs> <laughs> It'll kind of deflect a little bit. That, for a second. that hair dryer we talk about, like that's <laughs> under the table tonight. You can go other ways too. And then, yeah. Or you can do like in sections. So we're just going to let that fully dry before we go in with our pencil. You actually will need a pencil for this one tonight. We're going to make pumpkin faces. Okay, so talk, tell us more about like just the the conversation. Yeah. Okay, so we had this this great conversation with with Cadence and um, she yes, was, thanks Cadence for sharing, letting us share <laughs> without your permission. <laughs> Seriously. 
Um, now what? Just no, just the it just gave me the reminder of being at that age or even where I where we are as adults of how we know how we feel like we're tired and and we maybe have committed to do something or and and we just notice like we just don't have the energy to do it to really give our best to the person or to the situation and instead of doing the kind thing and saying like messaging them now i under, i understand that sometimes at the last minute like you can't drop a huge commitment ball back in somebody's lap at the last minute i've had that done and that is the crapper um i would much rather someone tell me no way in advance but i also understand that things come up but you know if you've made a commitment for a lunch date or a, or a dinner date or uh, maybe it's just even a play date and you just really recognize that you're you're just spent you're just tired um and it you won't be able to give your best to that person or to the situation it's okay and it's the kindest thing you can do to just say hey i just i just really don't have it in me can we reschedule it's challenging right because you you don't want to feel like she she said she was feeling like she would be a jerk or she'd be standing him up and and that sort of thing but i'm like you you know your body's telling you you don't want to do like you can see it on your face you're you look slumped like you're just exhausted and you know she would she's a she does serving um at, re, at like high-end restaurants and so you have to be on all the time and and you know anticipating people's needs and and just like always go 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 and she was just she was just spent and she had school this week and she's trying to do all these things and and then she wants to get into judgment of like Can i have some of that man this feels so Oh my gosh. Be cool. Um being in that judgment of like I should be having the energy to do this. I should be having the energy to do that, but okay. not giving yourself the time to what are you looking for? My phone so that I can <laughs> see the comments as they're coming through. Ah, uh, got you. Um I, I actually would love to hear the thoughts of of you who are listening of like what how do you feel about that? Like is that a is that a challenging um situation for you to know that you've created a date or a, or a time commitment or a commitment to somebody and then you're like i really just don't have it in me and do you honor that for yourself and ask for a reschedule or do you just go and kind of do the the half-ass thing what are you doing yeah yeah luba i know luba just asked what are we doing up so late well it's really only 7 48 here now but tonight it feels really late. But while we're talking about the boundary thing, I knew I had enough. Like this isn't something that requires a ton of energy. Um, I have enough to show up. And and because it's, it's a consistency thing sure. for me um, in, in just the practice of all of this and showing up for you. Mm -hmm. I, I think the part that makes me giggle is, is, so how do you get through those, those points where like, um, you know, you've, you've said you're going to show up whether it's in pickup ball or you you're in a race and like you're you're dead tired and, and you're doing the hard thing like how how do you know that line of like i i literally can't do anymore or you know like i can push farther so, it, yeah so i happen to know a little something about doing things tired and about knowing how to do them in some moments emotionally spent um having run 100 milers um that's part of my that's part of my training for myself is like running and i say to myself you have to know how to run tired like i will i will go and do it tired i'll drag myself out and but there are times when i'm like i know that i really don't like you just start to get a recognition of like today i really don't have it and maybe I, that's when i just go for a walk i do something a little bit um less energy less energy taxing so that the next day i can go out and you just learn you just really start learning what your own boundaries and edges are and what you can push and what actually just going to push over the edge yeah. it's, it's really the best way i know how to describe it is and, and it is to remind yourself that you can do far more than your mind tells you that you can
so it's it's uh, it's a practice really yeah it's a practice i'll share one one that i, I for myself Did you find another pencil or no i stole yours oh, okay. <laughs> um Here, you there's can... mine no no i got it okay i just saw yours first and grabbed it okay so before i get into my story i'm gonna um on this side i'm gonna make like just a jack-o-lantern face and they could just be just we're just gonna do the face I'm just going to make triangle eyes and then a fun mouth thing with a tooth or two. Just like that. And then I'm going to go in with my paintbrush and go slightly darker for my colors. Not too, too much darker, and we're just going to go around that drawing and do the rest of the page as well. Okay, so we're just going to take that orange and go around everything. And even add some more of the yellow, make it darker yellow. And you're going to go around the, the face that you just drew. <laughs> oh, it's a little bit. Oh, that is a common thing um, in the painting world is your paintbrush will often find its way into your drink. Um, I think uh, sometimes for me, I, I think I'm tired because I, I've set a limit for myself um, in my head, not actually where my body's at. And uh, I know when I was working uh, 12 hour shifts, midnight like six to six and um i was really getting back into running and you know i at the end of that shift i wanted to go for a run and and i would tell myself oh you're too tired oh you're too you know you can't do that but i remember um at that same time i was also listening to a lot of um really cool podcasts uh, i i loved listening to the ritual podcast and just some of the athletes that he had on there and one of my favorite things that I learned from the, listening to those podcasts is they all say the same thing. I'm just like anyone else and I do it when I'm tired. I do it when I don't feel like it. And, and I, I just found so much inspiration from that and, and thinking, you know what, I, I wanted to believe that they're just like me and that even though I've done this, these, you know, long shifts, I can still do five to 10 oh, kilometers in. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, Just right. add some water to oh, it. Jiminy Christmas. <laughs> Jiminy Christmas. It's, I think it's just, it's challenging, right? Like when, when is that line? And I think if you're constantly pushing, 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 you're going to burn yourself out. But if it's not. You've got to build up. It's a tolerance actually when you, when it's doing things like that. And it, again, it's that it's the building the muscles. It's the building the, the endurance of the of the lungs and endurance of the mind yeah. and endurance of the all of those things you can't just like i mean i guess i can't say you can't just jump into it because i kind of just jumped into it yeah uh but again i i you still have to you learn like what your what your tolerance is and how to how and when to push that and to recognize like whoa i actually do have so much more in me than i well it just feels so different i mean you have to gauge that too. Am I pushing because I like, is it a yeah, pride Yeah, why thing? am I pushing? Yes. Yeah. And, and what's it going to mean if I don't? Like, can I take this rest day? Because um, there's times where, where I've pushed and it, it felt good after I pushed. And other times where I pushed and I just felt even worse. And, and that doesn't feel good. It's like, that was so not worth it. And then you're out for, you know, the next day and you're, you're not going to show up as well as you could have, if you had allowed yourself to rest. But there's also that point of like, as far as physicality, well, even mentally, that point of like pushing to, to a point where you have to evolve, you have to grow, you have to push to um, build that stamina. So I, I don't know. I think it really comes down to again what's what's your intention why why are you doing it are you doing it for accolades are you doing it for clout are you doing it to like make yourself look good are you doing it because you really want to see what your edges are and what you're made of and what you what you can do and when you're doing it that way again it's that measure of of uh oh, 
cute. Thanks. It's a, it's that measure of building up the tolerance and, and learning what, what that is for you versus just doing it because you think you someone's going to think it's cool or you think you should. Or you think someone's going to think something of you if you don't. You know, one time, uh, the first time I'd run a, let's see, that's a 40 mile race here in, in, in Idle Falls, Ammon area. And, uh, I, I actually had been learning how learning, like, I thought I started, I started running actually to run away from my life. Cause there was a lot of challenging things going on. And what I recognized is I ran into my life because I asked questions. I always had questions on my mind. It was, it became this beautiful meditative time and space for me. Um, and I had somebody say to me, you do that just because you want attention. I was like, I, I was like, <laughs> you like one, someone who has no idea. It was a counselor who has no idea what the running, like what it takes to do that. And if that's why you're doing it, I don't do it. Don't do it. That's my best. <laughs> that's my best wisdom. You know, it's funny. I, I, because in my world, a lot of people weren't doing like I was biking and I'm biking a lot actually and running and um, some people in my world didn't just didn't understand like what they thought it was for vanity metrics and um, wanting like physicality mm -hmm. and and I mean those things are awesome absolutely but it, it was more for me it was like it was hard and it felt good and I I wanted to see how like I wanted to improve my time and I didn't share those things on, on socials or anything. It was we just put one in the for program. myself. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, and, and people would say to me, well, aren't you afraid to run a hundred miles or 50 miles or whatever it's going to be? And, and I would say no, but what, what I was afraid of and afraid is a, is, is a loose term. What, you know, what felt fearful is, um, is what, I was going to become in in the course of those 100 miles what i was going to learn about myself like that that was the thing that felt a little fearful because you get to face yourself yeah i think i did that wrong um I was, so the next part is drawing the cutouts we're gonna draw i'm supposed to do that on the outside see this is a new painting for me i haven't done this in a bajillion years So it's just adding like a 3D kind of effect to your cutout. So you're doing it on the outside, not the inside. I made the mistake. And it's just a just a few lines to, to make it look like it's been cut out. And then we're gonna paint over that. How, I did the same dang how thing. How far? Not too far. It's just like a little cutout, like to show that it's it's been cut. I'm just gonna do it like that there. <laughs> I think it's so funny though um, when I hear um, people talk about how challenging it is to set those boundaries because it's easier to say. Um, oh, I think I was watching a Brene Brown clip yesterday. She has a ring. Yeah, it was a, on TikTok or something. She has this ring where she spins it and she asks herself the question. Um, and it's to I can't remember the, the word she used, but to say no before I say yes, um, to check in with herself, whether she really wants to do the thing and that it's easier to say no than it is to resent um, Absolutely. Doing the thing. Well, it's a bit. It's it's a self betrayal. Yeah. When when you go against what you feel inside, and you're not listening to your voice and to your heart, and the thing that was like, I actually don't have this right now. It is self betrayal. Yeah, and that feels heavy. I think that's what what I was really trying to get across to um, to my daughter tonight was just how heavy that can feel when you're not doing the thing. So you don't want to paint over your, your lines. The new ones? Just, yeah. Oh, and you can make another pumpkin face in the background. Jeez. I forgot that part. It's a smaller one. And it could have a different kind of mouth. He looks kind of like in the distance.
um, this year has been a, a for myself has been a, a real practice in in what trusting what my body is trying to tell me um, and just everyday things you know like I I notice you do the the muscle testing with you know taking supplements and stuff and and um, just practicing some of that for um, how how I eat and the things that I choose to put in my body and how some of that feels like some foods really just don't agree with I'm not allergic per se but um, they just don't feel good um, but it can apply to to choices that we're making like we can actually ask ourselves those things and our bodies can give us that wisdom um, just by asking the question and seeing how things feel um, and just how certain decisions feel heavy and certain decisions can feel really light and, and just how, how much we have that wisdom and we don't, we don't think to use it. Yeah. Every, every answer, I'm a believer in this. I'm not always the best practicer in, in certain moments, but, um, so you're the, going slightly darker orange for this next layer. Just don't go over your, yeah. your new lines. Sorry. Um, that all the answers we need, are inside of ourselves like we don't actually have to look outside of ourselves for those answers and uh i i had some questions for myself or just questions for some things that i'm going to do and and again because i practiced for so long the going outside of myself for answers it's uh lee was like uh hey jen <laughs> you have all those answers inside yourself i was like oh yeah yeah sometimes we just need reminders when we've been practicing and and it's some situations really, really cause us to more than others to just go back into old patterning and, and the, the practice of what we already know and have used and have made dear to ourselves versus the new practice of, oh yeah, I actually can go ask myself. Yeah. I think sometimes it's it's that what are are people going to think of me? I, I keep hearing that that piece of that conversation like I'm going to look like such a jerk. I'm not going to they're not they're not going to like me anymore. Um, I mean, I have said those things. Yeah, I, I think we all do because we don't we don't want to let people down. But it goes back, and yet to, we're so willing to let ourselves down. Yeah. Well, that was that was the whole conversation. Like you're gonna sacrifice yourself your your well-being how you're going to show up tomorrow because if you're already exhausted and i mean i i ask people sometimes like what do you think part of that exhaustion is because you're always giving more than what you have to give like you're always at a deficit and you've just learned to function that way and then it's hard to to turn off some of those habits and practice other ones because it feels scary you don't want to you don't want to feel rejected. You don't want to reject the people around you, but it, it's it's really coming to a place to understand it's not a rejection to ask for what you need. And and if you can't ask for what you need, it's like that conversation we had with Brandy a few weeks ago on Live and Unscripted, where um, if you can't ask for the things that you need from the people around you, um, then they're not your people. Yeah, they're not your people, and they don't deserve to to share in your energy and your space. And it's not that they're not, that doesn't make them, I'm going to use the word bad. I don't love the word, the words good or bad, but they're not bad people. They're just not your people. They're not on a, on a wavelength that you can really build each other up and support each other in ways that feel empowering. All wow. right. This feels kind of messy, but you know what's, <laughs> you know, what's kind of crazy is, be, is because we're talking the like, tiredness is not uh it's not as present well it's good and and the the voices <laughs> they're just i think they're too tired they may have gone to bed <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't, I, I, i'm done <laughs> they're like you can stay up in pain we're going to bed we're done here <laughs> okay so we're gonna make this a little bit darker i've drawn another face That'll be our last face. And then we're going to go in a little bit darker um, to make the orange darker. I'm just going to add some purples and the blue. And it'll just add a neat uh, contrast. Oh, and I also drew 
around a pumpkin, like the pumpkin shape around that one. Oh. We got talking and then I forgot to explain those things. So, um, lessons for Leah. I'm still learning too, guys. You drew the oh, it's pretty wet. <laughs> dryer, please. Right, I think uh, I did bring a dryer. This can go like a little bit, yeah. It's hot. <laughs> yeah, it is very hot. It dries quick, though. It works. Ah. La la la. So I would, I actually would love to hear from, from, from you. Like, what does that feel like for you? How how do you go about setting those boundaries? And especially, you know what? How do you find what your edges are that way? You know, and to push like tiredness or to push um commitment or uh, anything that we've been talking about that way how do you how do you care for yourself that way versus always giving it to other people like how do you how do you conserve conserve did i say that right and and recharge versus just continuing to drain your batteries without feeling like you're rude or a jerk or you're letting people down. I would love to hear what your, what your thoughts are on that and how, how you go about it. I think for myself and what I've been learning, I'm not super great at it. Like you, I'm, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm practicing and I've been learning a lot of things of, of just setting those boundaries, but just understanding that it doesn't mean I'm, I'm not as committed to things. Um, it doesn't mean that I don't like that person. Um, but I think the one thing that I'm really noticing and, and practicing for myself is when, when people in your world try to guilt you and say, well, I would do it and um, I'm tired too, but I'm still doing it. Like, and, and yeah, it's falling into the peer pressure of that or the yeah, guilt tripping. Yeah. Um, and just refusing to get drawn into that because it's easy to, and then you want to be like, well, I'm, I'm still as committed. I'm still, you know, I got this. Um, but they, it doesn't have to be that way. And just because they don't have those um, boundaries or they don't want to set it or they want to try and push that on you, it, you don't have to, you don't have to take that gift. <laughs> you don't have to eat those cookies. Yeah, right. <laughs> like you don't have to take it and you don't have to accept that. Um, it's like when people are insulting or, um, you know, putting their opinions on you, you get to choose whether you're going to take those and if you're going to pick those up and carry them with you or you don't say thanks, but um, I'm good. I've got my own cookies. <laughs> yeah. I used to uh, hang with some peeps who it just felt, it felt really emotionally unsafe uh, in some of the things that we would do because they would tell me one thing and in my mind i'm like okay but i i know you i know how you function and how you push and how you don't always maybe listen to yourself and that was that was actually really challenging for me because i wanted to be with them the thing that we were doing i didn't want to do by myself and um and i really enjoyed who they were as people uh, so I, I found that that was really challenging for me and, um, but it was also a really great reminder of really learning to listen to myself, no matter what the people around me are, are doing or participating in and that I can choose when to opt out and say, thank you. And no, thank you. It was, uh, that was some big crazy sometimes challenging reminders especially when you want to be doing the thing that they're doing and you just you just know that you've reached your limit yeah. i don't know i think it's it's such a fine line like you want to push yourself but you you have to know what that is for you and and really learning to trust your body and trust yourself and knowing what those limits are for you and again, it's not, it's not about the other people. It's about you learning to listen and honor you, uh, building up those tolerant muscle, you know, muscle tolerances, those emotional tolerances. Um, because again, you're, 
you can do far more than you think you can do. But there are still, I'm, I'm not going to call them limits, boundaries. There's still boundaries until you know how to uh, bend them or extend them. Oh, I like that. Bend them or extend them. Because, that, I mean, that's, that's a thing as well. Bend them or extend them. Okay, so I have made another circle around this uh, second pumpkin that, that I, the face I had made. Um, I'm still going to go the darker shade around the third one, just so he looks like he's more far away. So the whole idea is to give you depth as you're going along. <laughs> I don't think I'm getting depth. I'm just getting darkness. So you can do like reds or you can go with purple or blue and that will darken up your, your shades. <laughs> you're just not done. It's just, it's just. No, I'm not done. Put it in the dryer. <laughs> Put it in the dryer. Good. Just put her in the dryer. So uh, Halloween, we're getting close to Halloween. Like, uh, what do you, what are you guys up to? What do you, what are you doing for fun? What kind of Halloween traditions do you have? Do you carve pumpkins? Do you do pumpkin seeds? Do you uh, do pumpkin walks? Do you eat pumpkin pie? Like, what are your, what are your Halloween traditions? I would love to hear what some of those are as well. And uh, well, what's a Halloween tradition that you you partake in? <clears throat> You do that thing. What thing? I don't know the. Oh, are you, the the I don't know what tree? It's called. Yeah, that. Yeah. So, so one of our hospitals that that I used to work for called Mountain View Hospital or and Idle Falls Community Hospitals do a uh, trunk or treat here through their uh, their affiliate, the Teton Cancer Center, and uh, the the nurses and staff and stuff of. The cancer center put on a really amazing trunk or treat and i love to do that i love to to dress up and um go participate in that how did you get that so dark um purple oh um you can do red you can do purple and so that's a lot of fun i love to watch i love to watch the littles show up and wow that is a dark purple well it's because it's with the orange wow that is awesome. Um, I love watching the littles come through. And uh, you know what I love as well is when their parents come through, I may or may not save some of the, the good candies like the Reese's peanut butter cups <laughs> and, and share them with the adults. And it's so fun to watch their faces light up when you hand them a piece of candy that they enjoy because you know what? They're, they're out too. They're bringing their kids and, and doing the thing. And I just, it's just a lot of fun to just see people out having a good time and to know that, you know, you get to be a little piece of bringing joy to just a small portion of, of the planet in those moments. Love it. Well, you drew a line around this pumpkin. Yeah. Yep, I drew a line, line around the second pumpkin. Now I've drawn one around the third. And it, it's just going darker each each layer. Um, yeah. How about you? What kinds of traditions? I mean, my kids were little. We did the trunk or treats or trick or treats. I usually go to my dad's. I don't hang out at my own house. I go to my dad's and hand out candy for them and wait for my nephews to come. Who probably won't anymore because they're getting kind of big but I love that mm, I think traditions for for our family like um, when my older two were, were little I used to love putting the scary music on and popping out of the front door we used to love decorating the, the house um, I love making my kids costumes well my daughters anyways my son always liked like transformers and he wanted all like the superhero stuff so um but my daughter like i was telling jen this the other night um she wanted one year a peacock costume <laughs> and so i thought this would be it would be simple right like she it would just be like a blue outfit with a little skirt and 
you know, maybe a peacock feather or two, um, a crown, and, and she'd be done. She, but oh, she fun. had, sorry, um, such a different idea of what that was going to look like. And I kept showing her different sketches, different ideas. And then she's like, Mom, no, you don't get it. And then she drew this, this picture um, and, and her, she's like, I need a breast and I need tail feathers. And I'm like, what do you mean a breast? And so she's like, so she draws like, you know, a bird breast, you know, the front part of their, their I'm like, oh my gosh. So we took a, what was it? A bathing suit. No, it was like one of those, um, body suits. So it was long sleeve. Like a leotard. Yeah. It, but it was like, a. it looked like bathing suit bottoms. Yeah, it's one charge. piece. Yeah. So um I took that and sewed a, a, a backing. Huh? I said we call it a leotard. I call it a leotard. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I st uh, I put a I sewed in a layer in the inside of that, stuffed that um with with um cotton and then because she had no butt, I had no way to put her tail feathers, so I had to like make the, the tail feather support. In the back end, so so in another sec, it, it was it was such an adventure. Um, I found peacock feathers at a local zoo, and then glued them onto a belt. So she wore that belt with the leotard outfit, and then we found like this other top that was like a velvet blue. Um, it, it was just amazing. It was such a, a cool project, um, and one that she just wore for several years because it was just fun. Um, another one was a snail costume. So it, it was just a fun way to, to have unique costumes, um, with my daughter. Um, and then of course you just go out for Halloween trick or treating and <laughs> my daughter would like run house to house to house. And my son would be like, even though it's free candies, like, yeah, I'm done after three houses. Like he was slow. <laughs> he just did not did not have the the same umps that uh, my daughter did to to do all the things um but we used to do like um i used to run daycare and we would do a halloween party um the friday before dryer 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 time um but yeah those are our pumpkins um uh, you could go darker but uh you can make more pumpkins if you wanted to um but i just love how it's bright because you started with the lightest color and built up, um, built up your layers and you could do more pumpkins. Um, so on yours, I I just need a, drew, I need a face on or a pumpkin. On this one. Yep. And then to make that darker. So I'm just looking at Jen's here. So looking at Jen's, let's kind of do, do that. You can do reds or blues will Ooh, give you a darker, blues. a darker like effect. This blue? Yeah, that blue is a, a perfect one. Oh, whoa. Yeah, and then you draw around your circle. I can't see my circle. Where, where do you find it challenging? Uh, going back to the ideas of, of boundaries, where do you find it challenging to, to set boundaries um, for yourself? Like the, can you ask that question in, in another way? Like, mm, well, I'll give you an example for myself where I find it challenging to set boundaries is, is with my kids when they're asking me to do stuff. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, I find it hard to say no, uh, just because it's, it's, I just, they're little for only so long. And I think if I don't take this opportunity now, um, I'm not gonna, they might not ask me again. And so sometimes I, there's things I don't want to do, or I'm, I just don't have the energy to do, or I, it's not even the task, but the energy to manage um, my two boys are close in age, so they're 14 months apart. <laughs> and sometimes it's more energy to manage their bickering and, and my tolerance to it um, that I would almost rather just do the task myself. But that that's besides the point um, of why they're asking to be involved in that. 
Um, so sometimes I find I say yes when I really don't want to do that, that sort of thing. So that for me is a challenging place to, to hold a boundary. Yeah, I think I think I did have have that as well, especially in in a point in my life where things a lot of things were changing. Um, and I, I felt like I I needed to protect my kids. I was really needing to protect myself as well. Or it felt like I was needing to protect myself. Um, there was just a lot of identity change and loss going on. And uh, I had I had a challenge setting boundaries there because I, I I wanted to make sure that they were taken care of and protected. And so I I probably did more not setting boundaries there. Just I don't know because I I was afraid maybe of their own judgments of me and. Um, maybe thinking I didn't love them or just some of those places. I think sometimes with family members, it can be tricky to, to set a boundary. Um, I think anywhere really where we can feel like we could be judged or there could be loss or um, loss for myself, of opportunity. Anyway, loss of opportunity, loss of uh, friendship, loss of participation, loss of, um, that you'll be invited again. Sometimes I, I, I don't want to say no because um, I don't I don't want them to stop inviting me and giving me that choice to, well, to be invited. I, yeah, and I, 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 there are ways to say no without people. Well, and if people like take it, I mean, if you're if you're just truly being a jerk and you're just saying no, that's one thing. But if you're like like, hey, like, I really, I would like to do this, but I've got to opt out this time. Please ask again. You know, let people, let people know. Let them, let them know that right now is not the best time for you to be doing the thing, but that you are interested. Um, I, I'm, I'm a believer that, that people respect those, those kinds of things. I do. I would much rather have somebody tell me no um, and ask for an invite for another time. But if you keep telling me no, I'm probably not going to extend the invite um <laughs> i'm just seeing luba's comments I, I think i had it on another screen it is also a priority in the context of your daughter if it's a matter of do i go and meet with this person and force myself even though i'm tired then maybe no point to build tolerance screw that funny how you two are so into it your voices are asleep and you aren't even reading comments <laughs> Sorry, Luba. I was on the yeah, wrong screen. I'm like, yeah, she had the phone up this whole time, but it wasn't showing the comments. Thanks. And she says, by the way, the painting is so cool. Okay, this is mine. I love that you stayed on to watch, Luba. I'm sorry I didn't see your comments for right now. But yeah, totally. Well, and, and like what she, that kind of was what she was saying a little bit is like, um, it wasn't going to be fun for her because she didn't want to be that. She just looked beat. Yeah. And yeah. It's so challenging because I want to look here because we're having a conversation, but then it's But I here, can see you there. Right? right. Yeah. If I point, oh, I still have to point the opposite direction. How about that? We'll oh, just do it hey. like this. Hey. Yeah, there you go. So that was our painting today for creative unraveling fun pumpkins glow in the dark um have fun with that you can do as many pumpkins as you want and do them in different layers um and go as dark and it'll look like they're glowing i, I just think it's such a fun fun thing yeah and remember if you are a member of the righteous rebels facebook group uh awesome <laughs> So cool. We're so happy to have you. And if you're not, then head on over. If you're coming to us from YouTube or from LinkedIn, head on over to the Righteous Rebels Facebook group, not the page. We don't really post much. I'm like, I saw that. I saw that come through through my peripheral vision, Luba. We love yeah, you too. You are so awesome. Um, <laughs> it helps when it's on the right screen. Um, if you're again, if you're coming to us from YouTube or LinkedIn, head on over to the Righteous Rebels Facebook group not the page. It is our page, but we don't post there. It's up for different reasons. Hit the join button. Boink. Boink. 
and let we'll let you in because we want your magic to be a part of of the community there is an art gallery that is pinned to the top yeah. and you can go in and take a picture and post your artwork whether it's art that you're doing with us or it's art that you've done on your own it doesn't matter go in and and post it and let us celebrate you and what you've created and see what you've created and, and how you how you play in your own world um, wow you sound different it's a show. <laughs> Is that true, Jen? No, no. <laughs> I am still tired. Like my 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 eyes are tired, and I do feel tired. But I was just actually about to say I do feel more energized having sat down and and done this. I, maybe some of the food that I ate too has <laughs> has made its way into my system, which is helpful. The cinnamonte that I just drank, but um, I. It, it really was an interesting experience for me tonight because um, I think the voices may have actually gone to bed because they really weren't as it didn't feel as present tonight. Uh, I was less, I was just less concerned about, how, and I probably was just too tired to, to be concerned. <laughs> which, I'm too tired to be judgy of myself. Yeah, which <laughs> is not necessarily a bad thing. Right? Um, so awesome. It, I, I actually did have a good time and I'm, I'm grateful that we chose to stay consistent in, mm -hmm. in showing up for ourselves and in showing up for our community. Uh, and just a reminder, like show up, show up for yourself. And sometimes um, this, this is what I used to tell my clients is uh, you know, say their, their goal is, is exercise and they're tired of it. They don't think they can do it. I would just say to them, go out and do five minutes. Just go do whatever you're going to do for five minutes. Ride your bike, go for a walk, lift some weights, do something for five minutes. Then pause and check in with yourself and ask, is this the boundary line? Like, can I, can I do more? How am I feeling? Do I feel more energized? Do I feel more tired? And make a decision. Can you do five more minutes? Can you do two more minutes? Or do you actually need to stop? Um, <laughs> Thank you, Luba. You're the best. And thanks for yeah, popping you're in and late. watching. Yeah, I it's late you. for you. We love, again, we're excited because we had to go hang out with Luba yes, at I've, her retreat in Florida. Yeah, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, women in, empowering women. Yeah, like um, in two weeks. Something like that. The sixth. Yeah, we're going to the retreat the is the seventh through the ninth, I yes, believe. Yes, that's right. So, so Luba, thank you. We're excited, excited to see you. To do that, uh, Luba, I would like to see some of your artwork in the group. I'm just gonna say. <laughs> it's um, only ten thirty p.m. Right, but I, I want to ask Luba, what is it? I don't do fun. I mean, hello. Did she say that? Yeah, she says oh, I don't do fun. Luba, you're saying that to you the just, wrong yeah, people. Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that for a second. Just do fun for three minutes. And then see how you're doing and ask yourself, can I do two more minutes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I do one more minute? Or do I really need to be done? <laughs> just like, yeah, yeah, I know yeah, yeah. <laughs> Smart Alec. <laughs> All right. We love you guys. Thanks for thanks for joining us. Thanks for letting us uh, just chat and share what's on our hearts and our minds. Again, it's just real unfiltered creative unraveling on the day. Oh, on October 31st, you don't do fun? For Halloween, <laughs> you mean? On the day. On the day. Hey, on October 31st, uh, Lee and I get to go hang out with uh, Janet Thurgood. Yes, that's right. Uh, we did a live and unscripted with her fairly recently. Uh, that was in August. So that was kind of fairly recently. Late August. You can go to back on the Righteous Rebels Facebook group and find that. Or you can go to therighteousrebels.com and listen to that. We're excited to be on her program. And yeah. we're going to talk about how you break through fear. Yeah. Or how you push through the levels of fear and how to take it along for a ride. So with that, <laughs> I'm going to take all this energy and go to bed. <laughs> woo, woo. <laughs> all right. We love you guys. Thanks for the clarify clarification, Luba, that you are not fun on the day, <laughs> October 31st, but super fun in general. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Amen. All right. All right. Take them out. Yep. Remember, be, be bold, bold, be brave, be a rebel. <laughs> Woo! It's so much easier when there's not time to land 3,000 miles. Yay! We'll see you soon. <laughs> that was awesome.